Hello everyone, welcome back to Gidroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Once human is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on within screen and even if you're having any kind of issues such as black screen and any more issues and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about what we have to do is so we have to do a simple restart and that's what we have to do. So to do a restart, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now just go over here in the power icon and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, just try to launch the game. You know, sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of issue and that is what we have to try. So we need to try a simple restart and that's what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder. So I don't know how this is related, but right now, as you can see, I'm over here in the Steam. So whenever you're trying to launch the game from the Steam like this, you might be having an issue. So if that is the case, what we need to do is just go over here in the Steam at the top. Just go over here, exit. Once you exit from the Steam once again, once exit is completely done, just launch the Steam once again and you have to get into the Steam, which means you have to sign in back. And once afterwards, you have to try to launch the game. At the time, you have to make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi or you are having a good internet, internet connection. So once afterwards, try launching the game. And that is what we have to do. So try launching the game from the installation folder. That is what we have to do in the most cases. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about what we need to do is, apart from launch the game, we need to do one more step. So in order to make sure the launch the game from the installation folder, just go over here, right click and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. So if you check over here at the top, this PC, local C, program file x86, steam, steam amps, common, once human. So this is the folder. And if you check over here, so this particular folder is the application, which is around 56292 KB. So we just need to launch the game from here. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try launching the game from here. Apart from the shortcut, we can also navigate to the installation folder. So just go over here in the file, X, I mean this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game. That is, we have to navigate to human, once human. Just go over here in this game. Now from here, try launching the game. Both the steps are fine. So try launch the game from the installation folder, which worked for many users, you can try this out. Hence, within the installation folder, I would like to make you notice two more steps that we need to run the game as administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as administrator, just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the show more option, go to the properties, go for compatibility and click on run this program as administrator. So most probably, as you can see, this is a very important step. So just go for apply and go for OK. And once afterward, just go over here, right click, go to show more option, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7. That is what you have to do as the first one. Go for apply or you can set this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for OK. Once you're done with this one, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. That is what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, we have to launch or we have to try changing the language of the game, but I'm not recommending this. You don't have to do this. So try or make sure the date, time, region is correct. So just go over here in the search, go over here and search for settings, navigate to the settings over here, go for uh, time and language, go for date and time, which is the first one. Make sure the time zone automatically should be turned on. Time zone automatically should be turned on. All these three things should be turned on. Just go back, go to the language and region. From here, we have to select the country. So from which means if you're from United States, you have to select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. Once afterward, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab. I don't know how this is related, but even this worked for many users. So just press Alt and Tab, it worked for many users. Once afterwards, we have to move to the next one. That is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. We have to navigate to the documents 
And over here, as you can see, American Truck Simulator, Rockstar Games, all these are already saved, which, which is I'm right now playing a lot. So just you will be having a folder for the once human. So just delete the respective folder. You have to keep in mind when you do this, you will be losing all the provisions of the game. And that is what you have to do. So once afterwards, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel, search for the control panel. Go over here. Now we just need to go over here in the uh, system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to once human. So just go over here, keep scrolling down and we have to little bit go down. So over here, as you can see, you have to find where is once human. So just keep scrolling down and over here, as you can see, the once human is there. Make sure that both the private and both public, both is market, which is a very important step. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with other peripherals like, you know, what you have to say, Logitech wheels might be connected or additional joysticks might be connected, which is causing the issue. So we just need to unplug everything. External devices should be unplugged. And once afterwards, try launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, try continue playing the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, go for system configuration, search for system configuration, go over here, go to the services, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for uh, disable first. Let me go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. You have to do a restart if the restart is asking. So the users are watching this, go for a restart. But I'm going to go for exit without restart because we are in the middle of shooting. So just go over here for the restart and once afterwards, try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game is turn it on. If it is so, we have to turn this off, try launching the game. Next one, we have to give the commands in the launch option. So the first one is all about we have to try DX11. If DX11 is not working, you have to try with DX12. So if DX11 or DX12, both these things are not working, you have to try with D3, D2. I don't know how this is related, but even this working for many users, try giving this command D3, D2. And afterwards, try launching the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we'll navigate to the next one. That is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So all these things are actually utilizing the performance. So when you are launching the game at the same time, continuously, you'll be having the crashing issue. So we just need to make sure, you know, what we need to do is we just need to make sure there are, you know, what I have to say. For example, what I need to say is we just need to remove the unwanted things. For example, Discord, Reward Tuner, MSC Afterburner, all these things can be removed from here. Once afterward, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. So just go over here in the game and over here, as you can see, there are a lot of things already added in the simultaneously in the same way we need to add the game. Just click on the browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam, navigate to steam apps, go to common. And what we need to do is just keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to once human. So just select this one and we have to go for add. So just go over here in the option. So just go over here and go for high performance, which is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with max Q design. So just go for save. Once afterwards, just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is just need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here and search for view advanced system setting. Just go over here in the game. Go to the advanced tab, go to the settings once again, go for the advanced, go for change, make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk, go for the custom size, initial size should be 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator, so just go over here, go to the calculator, so type these uh, credentials, that is first you have to type the RAM 32 GB because the RAM of my computer is 32 GB and you have to multiply it with 1024. 
that brings me 32768 multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total ram so just copy this and we have to paste it next one multiply the 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it once every value has been set we just need to go back and try learning the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card which i set we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd the users on the nvidia just go over here select everything like the product should be selected product series should be selected product should be selected operating system if you are on windows 11 select windows 11 everything should be selected and you have to do according to if you are on the nvidia geforce you have to do accordingly and go for start search and as you can see the version is 556.12 and the file size is 628.74 and the release date is 2024-4627 which is few days back so just download this one If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select everything like graphics, and everything should be selected, and go for submit. And if you're on Windows 11, download this one, and if you're on Windows 10, download this one and install. Restart is a mandatory, and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to uninstall the game. Just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. And when you're reinstalling it back, you have to try to not the same local disk which you which uninstall. You have to try a new local disk. last and the least step we have to try verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this is going to cross check every single files of a game and if you are having any kind of issues and all these things you know when you are trying to go for this one they can ask you for a backup so just go for create a backup or you can uh, create a backup anywhere so let me create this backup over here in the documents and i have created the backup so uh, i'm having an issue with this particular one so we have to create a backup so those who are having an issue with the create the backup just follow this instruction so once after this i'll be showing you how you can do the ver verify integrity of game file
So once it is done, we just need to close everything and once after the files are successfully validated, just close everything and try launch the game and that's all you have to do. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.